Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily create a crossfade for your audio tracks in Pro Show 5. This works the same way in Pro Show Gold or Pro Show Producer. Let's go ahead and get started. One of the most frequently asked questions we get about using audio in Pro Show is how to move the soundtracks around. This is basically all you'll need to know in order to create a crossfade between your audio tracks. For those who may not know what a crossfade is, it's a term used when overlapping two songs so they blend into each other. Adding crossfades is a great way to have your music flow throughout your slideshow and also to remove any silence or dead space between your tracks. Here I've got a show open with about 40 photos and two songs. If I scroll to the right, you'll see where my first song ends and my second song begins. The color of the soundtracks alternate from green to blue, so you can see where one track ends and the next one starts. We'll go ahead and get started by clicking on the slide right above where the two songs connect. Then, hit the tab key on your keyboard, or you can also click on the timeline tab to switch to the timeline view. When working with audio, you should always switch to timeline view because this is where you'll have all of your options to manipulate and control your soundtracks. Our goal in this lesson is to remove the silence between our two songs. In Pro Show, you can visually see where there is silence by looking at the green and blue wavelengths. A flat line is where there is silence, so in this example, you can see there is quite a bit of silence at the end of the first track. So basically, what we're going to do is move our second track into the first track, blending them together, and also removing that area of silence. To do this, hover your mouse over the second track and hold down the control key on your keyboard. You'll notice a yellow bar appears around the track. While still holding down control, left click on the track and drag it to the left. As you move the track, you'll see that there's a greenish blue color which indicates a crossfade or blending of the two tracks. Basically you want them to overlap just enough so as the first track ends, the next track is starting. You can always preview the show to make sure it sounds the way you want. You can also add custom fades to your audio tracks if for some reason the original track doesn't already have one. Just hover over the track and hold down the control key on the keyboard. Once again, you'll see the yellow bar appear around the track. While still holding down the control key, left click on the little box in the top corner of the track and drag inwards. As you drag, a triangle will appear showing you how long the fade will be. Once again, you may need a trial and error to get it the way you like it. I hope this helps answer any questions you have on creating custom crossfades in Pro Show. Be sure and check out our other training videos on our YouTube channel or visit our blog for helpful tips and tricks about creating slideshows with Pro Show.